A quiet and somber moment as the body of Officer Jason Shooping was escorted into the Cabarrus County Arena today, surrounded by his brothers in blue. As of today, Jason's unit number 4434 is officially retired and will always serve as a reminder of his commitment and ultimate sacrifice for our community. A brother, son, husband, officer, gone too soon and remembered by many today. It was really an emotional service at the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center in Concord. Officers representing so many of our local law enforcement agencies across our viewing area in attendance today as they said goodbye to Officer Jason Shooping. We learned a lot more about that young man. Yes, the service began just about three hours ago in Concord. Reverend Richard Myers officiated that service as the community honored the life of Jason Shooping. He said Shooping embodied the three core values of the Concord Police Department, competence, courage, and integrity. It wasn't that Jason was overly ambitious or selfishly ambitious. When he received his last commendation coin, his initial reaction to his superior who presented it to him was that he did not deserve it. Jason was a hero full of honor and humility. And we heard that time and time again throughout the service. Dozens of law enforcement officers attended the funeral this afternoon. Many of them escorted Officer Shooping's casket along the procession route from Cabarrus County to where he will finally rest in Rowan County. WBTV's Brandon Hamilton is outside the arena where that funeral was held today. We really got a good sense of who this young man was, Brandon. Yes, we did. You're just a hero uh, out here it was a solemn mood as law enforcement officers from all across our area came here to Concord to remember a teammate, remember a man who uh, the chief said was a jokester. Um, that funeral service lasting for about an hour here. Now, again, Officer Shooping, there was there was heavy hearts inside of the arena as Officer Shooping was remembered as a man that everyone was blessed to know. There was also the memory that Chief Gary Gasick shared of Shooping joining the Concord Police Department just last year, again known as the jokester and always looking to get other officers to crack a smile. Gasick calling him an officer who showed professionalism and the ultimate a teammate. Now, Reverend Richard Myers also reminded the congregation to lean on their faith. Uh, Shooping's unit 4434 was also officially retired and we know Shooping is survived by his wife Haley Gardner Shooping as well. And Maureen, I think the important note to take out of this is that what the chief said is that the way to remember Officer Shooping is to also give back to our communities with compassion. So again, that is something we all can take from today's service. Yes, we lost a hero in this community, but the way to remember him again is to give back to the community. Live in Concord, Brandon Hamilton, WBTV on your side. Brandon, thank you. Maureen, earlier today before the funeral, the Concord Mayor and City Council released a statement regarding, regarding the service and Officer Shooping. It reads in part, quote, Officer Shooping dedicated his life to protecting and serving our community, and we are heartbroken about his tragic death as well as the shooting of his fellow officer, Caleb Robinson. Jason made the ultimate sacrifice, and for that we will be forever indebted, and he will be forever remembered. Before and after the funeral, a large procession traveled to the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center from the Powell Staten Funeral Home. It's about a 30-mile drive, this video from Sky 3. Of course, the graveside service is private and for family only, so we are not carrying that on air for you. But we know he will be laid to rest in the town of Faith. WBTV's Dedrick Russell joining us now live. Dedrick, Dedrick uh, has been watching that procession. We are going to go to him in just a moment. Again, these images from Sky 3, that long procession that was stretching from Cabarrus County up to Faith, where we know he will be laid to rest. Officer Jason Shooping, just 25 years old. You can see this uh, a number of law enforcement officers that have been outside and in the arena, a number of people paying their respects. Maureen. Well, one thing that we did hear from his uh, pastor, uh, Pastor Myers there, is that he talked how much uh, faith was a part of Officer Shooping's life. 
And he certainly encouraged everyone, as you heard, to lean on their faith in this very difficult time. Just days before Officer Shooping was killed, another officer was also laid to rest. This has been a very difficult time, as you can imagine, for our law enforcement members across WBTV's viewing area. Mount Holly Police Officer Tyler Herndon was shot while responding to a breaking and entering call in Gaston County. He later died at the hospital. Then on Saturday night, Kings Mountain Police Officer Corporal Frank Whittington Jr. was shot while responding to a call about a suspicious person near the Kings Mountain Country Club. He is recovering in the hospital tonight. Right now, we want to take you back live to Faith, the town of Faith in Rowan County, as you're seeing people line the streets and the procession now coming through there you see the hearse making its way to officer Shooping's home church there in the town of faith where they will be going to the cemetery people standing quietly holding the flag as those in his family also follow behind the cat behind the hearse we know he will be moved into a caisson as it goes towards the church and the cemetery we'll have continuing coverage of the events as they unfold we'll be streaming it on our facebook page you can also read much more about the kind of person jason shooping was outside of the badge an amazing man just find it right now by heading to wbtv.com